welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Showmont, and boy, do I have a rant for you today. But before we jump in, thank you for your continued support. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and ring that bell so that you get all the up-to-the-minute content when we drop new stuff for you to check out. And please do share our videos with your friends, families, colleagues, and Everyone else you can think of, because every little bit of it helps. Let's jump in right in. Talked about this topic a little bit earlier this week, Monday actually, when I kind of went off on the WNBA, the, um, Team WNBA, Team USA All-Star Game. And I briefly hit on it for a second. Uh, yesterday when I was talking about the Andrea Carter nonsense with Stephen A. Smith. But I want to dig a little bit deeper into this. The WNBA All-Star Game drew 3.44 million viewers on Saturday night. Let me repeat. 3.44 million viewers Saturday night. a lot that's a hell of a lot that is 400 percent more than it drew last year which was at 850,000 if you multiply 850,000 times four that's 3.4 million this did 300 3.44 million so did over 400% what last year's WNBA All-Star Game did. And you know who is responsible for this. The one, the only, Caitlin Clark. It's time to recognize game. If you don't recognize game yet, it's time you start. If you keep lying to yourself about who the needle mover is, who cooks the meal, who stirs the pot, who does everything that is making you, me, and millions around this country watch the WNBA this year, you need to look no further than the 3.44 million people who watched the WNBA All-Star Game. The rosters are literally identical to last year, with two exceptions. In terms of, when I mean literally identical, there might be a few different players, but two rookies, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. Everyone else is a veteran. Everyone else has been there before. Most of them were on the floor last season in that all-star game. And if you watched that all-star game, it looked like an NBA all-star game minus anything exciting because we already know what the women cannot do. They cannot dunk and they don't have parking lot range. So while the men are shooting half court threes, and throwing the ball off the backboard and going between the legs while they put up ridiculous dunks and hitting 45-foot three-point shots, which I still say are lucky shots because it's not you're not you're, it's just a lucky shot. I still believe it's a lucky shot. If you want to debate me on it, anything beyond half court requires some level of luck. I, I'm sorry. You have the strength to get it there, great, but your form will never be the the, the way it's. Your form will not be what it should be if you're shooting from 50 feet out. That said, they do it. And, (laughs) like, they do it. So that does bring some level of excitement. Look, I don't watch the NBA All-Star game. It's a waste of time. It's just bad. But that's what the WNBA game looked like last year, minus all the things that that would make you want to watch it. Because they can't make those long shots. I watched highlights of it where people were shooting the ball off the backboard from 28 feet, I mean, nowhere near the rim. It's just layups. They can't dunk. So what's exciting about it? It was awful. They played no defense. 
Yes, this past weekend, they played defense. They played defense. But the major difference is one singular person, Caitlin Clark. You can lie to yourself. The players can lie to themselves. They can all convince themselves that she isn't the she isn't her. She isn't the reason. You know how Jimmy Butler said Hemi Butler is he's him? Well, she's Hermy Butler. Hermothy. <laughs> Hermy. I don't know what you call it. But she's her. And she's the reason. She's the only reason. Caitlin Angel Reese might have a little bit to do, but not what Caitlin Clark's done. Not one bit. Not one bit. Caitlin Clark is why. Caitlin Clark is the reason. Caitlin Clark is why people are watching. And she, and my God, and look, she didn't shoot well, but she still had 10 assists. And you know who realized that she, lo who loves playing with her now after playing with her for one game? Arike Gumbawale. Why? Because Arike Gumbawale is fast. And Arike Gumbawale will run and get, and, and run down the floor and she'll be found for open shots. Caitlin Clark will make it easy for, easier for her. You got people on the Phoenix Mercury recruiting her during the game. Sophie Cunningham is going out of her way to recruit her. The owner of the Phoenix Mercury is going out of his way to recruit Caitlin Clark right now. If that is not an example of, what did you call it? Um, tampering i don't know what is but in the he did a photo on his um social media where he had four photos one was of one was of uh britney griner one was of the arena one was of i think it was sophie cunningham it was her, sophie cunningham or Kalia cooper copper and then the last picture was caitlin clark how did caitlin clark end up on the phoenix mercury owners social media by accident i'm sure he's recruiting her Players around the league want her on their team. They absolutely want her on their team. The ones that are real about it do. The ones that are hating on her and jealous of her and all that shit, maybe they don't. Maybe they're not going to outright say it. But the ones that, are, that recognize real and recognize game, they want her on her team. The Phoenix Mercury with a point guard like Caitlin Clark. Oh, yeah, the other one was not Natasha, Natasha Cloud. She was, she was also right there recruiting with Sophie Cunningham. At the All-Star game. They know who she is. They know what she is. Why else are you being so damn friendly? It's there. The writing's on the wall. The woman has changed the WNBA forever. Now, it needs to continue, and she needs to continue to play well, and they need to, they need to win, um, and all that stuff. But she's changed this game. She made people watch this game. Now, I'm still sad she didn't play in the three point, compete in the three point contest, but it is what it is. She competed in the game. She led, she and Enrique Gumbawale led them to a win over the team, over Team USA. I still think they should be the, going instead of Team USA because they won that game. They should be the, they should get the spoils of winning that game. And I stand by that. But man, oh man, oh man, 3.44 million, 400% increase. Why do you think that is? So for everyone that wants to criticize, everyone wants to say whatever they want to say about it. The numbers are there. The data is there. The writing is on the wall. It's been proven over and over and over and over and over again. How many more times do it needs to be, does it need to be shown to you who the person who stirs the coffee is in this league? It's Caitlin Clark. And while all these silly ass pundits who cannot stand the fact that she's the best, is one of the best players in the league already, she's going to finish in the top five at the very least in MVP voting. She's going to she's going to win rookie of the year without question. Without question, she's going to win rookie of the year. It will be a while. She's probably going to get every single vote except for the vote from that comes out of Chicago, whoever does that for, for their media. Except for that one, if that person is honest with themselves, She'll get that vote too. <clears throat> but don't sit here. I, I, but all that, all that, un, all that hate and all that bogus crap about it, it's too the league's too physical, international balls too physical. How about them apples? How you like them apples? 
the girl you said that wasn't physical enough just won the uh, was the starting point guard on the team that won the All Star game against the team that's supposedly supposed to be more physical than her. I mean, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. But three point four four million. It's a mic drop. It's a mic drop for Caitlin Clark. And she'll never go out there and say, yeah, see what I did? But she should. So what do you think? 3.44 million, 400% increase. Is that the effect of Caitlin Clark? Or is it something else? I know what it is. You should know what it is. So leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear it. Be sure to like, like, subscribe, and follow, and ring that bell. Come on now.